So uh, just finished that. Went upstairs and it warm upstairs. So I just bumped the air on. I haven't really used the air, the cooling part of this. Let's see. Outside air can't. Oh, look at mine. Ooh, those fans should be running. Why are my fans not running? Something's not right. Oh, there they go. I thought this thing was going to be getting kind of overshot a little bit. I can program that a little bit. Just a little delay before the liquid line probe kicked on the fans through my processor. Wait, that's some hot air. Ooh, she's putting out some heat. Liquid line was way up there. I'm sure that pressure was getting up there. Liquid line's dropping. Well, yeah, that, that was uh, too long to kick those fans on, so there's something I'll have to adjust. And I could just put in my program just to start the fan. Initially, and then drop down if it's too cool after, you know, 15 seconds or 30 seconds or something instead of not running the fans. Or just put a, I could just put a switch if the outdoor air temperature is, you know, above this certain point. Had to turn the unit off here. Go ahead and set the fan up a little higher. Let's do 185. We want to uh, save. Which... Now I have this board in upside down versus the other one I did. <laughs> also, I did a little better shielding things on the second one. So I might have to do that on this one too. So just restarted that. Another thing, um, I was fixing to buy a new air handler so I could take out this R22 Goodman and put in the twin Frankenstein, but summer just comes so quickly here. I know it's the middle of March, or third week of March, but kind of thinking I might just get some pipe and just push this Goodman right around the corner right there to get out of the way of the trailer and just focus on this one throughout the summer, see how it goes, and if seems working fine or whatever then I will uh, then do that one in the fall or something <laughs> but I just hate to do both do that one too have if there's an issue with my controller or just something I designed it would affect possibly both units at the same time I don't see how and really if anything was weird with my controls I could throw in a couple relays in here just like I did in the Lennox because the Lennox didn't have a controller I made. I just used two relays basically. One relay to bring the compressor on 40 hertz and then the next relay would speed it up to 60 for Y2 and then I just had the reverse adopters just directly powered by the thermostat. So I did change the other one to a low voltage um, coil. So I might get another low voltage coil, a final one that I have and put it on here. It seemed like uh, it was less glitchy running the low voltage one. You're breaking that 230 volt one through this relay. Didn't use optical isolators, use transistors. So sometimes you get a little bit of that kind of just picks back up through the processor. So I thought it was going to be fine, but that might cause intermittent glitches. Even though once the reverse valve is engaged for the summer, it's engaged the whole time. So it's not going to be switching, but still uh, kind of rambling on. But anyway, liquid line's only 100 degrees. I think that's a pretty such lines. Cool enough. It's not ice cold, but it's cool. Well, actually, yeah, 60-ish probably. Better run in. Oh, actually, I have probes in the still upstairs in the bedroom. I should go see what the temperatures are in a minute. 81, 59. Well, that's like 22, almost 23 degrees. Split. Thermostat says it's 83 inside and 83 outside. It says to get to 70, it's going to take till 7. It is 634. Yeah, so I'd say that thing's working. 58.9 out the vent. Return air, 81.4. my Ecobee account and see if by chance I can see what the trends were for earlier today 
actually it was just like a couple hours ago might be too soon for it to show up so we're going to go to home iq system monitor where are we at 10 12 p.m actually it looks like it does show me turning it on today so you see it see the white line is indoor and the green one is outdoor so you can see it's 85 degrees at three o'clock that's so about this time is when i was working on welding up the trailer finishing that up and then when i got done over here i was like man it's kind of warm still inside it's like 83 so see right here is where i kind of turn it on then i jump the set point up 78 it's actually programmed for 76 so then it came down so it went to second stage right away which is the darker blue line and then so that started at 615 so it ran almost two hours before it cycled off but it ran a little over an hour on second stage and then it was on just first stage it cycled off and then for some reason it kicked on both stages here might be the ecobee just trying to do its voodoo <laughs> and then it dropped the first stage and it satisfied and I'm not sure why this white line keeps going on and off whatever that is Oh, that's the fan. The fan runs a minimum amount of time every hour. So, And then it did kick on both stages right away. Again, a little bit after 9. And it satisfied the whole thing. And then the next time it looks like it ran just the first stage. And into the evening now, if it has to run, we are uh, down to uh, 71 outside. Wow, it really dropped like a rock outside. But indoor... 77 77 76 yep cycles up at 76 so it might run a little bit but every every bit of the walls and everything are hot our bedrooms up here are all face west so it gets that west afternoon sun so that's the part that sucks and that's why sometimes it's warm up here it is only march 22nd but just had to bump the air fans weren't on in the windows or anything but i don't think they were going to help today so Anyway, there's a, that trend. Okay, let's look at the testo report. There we go. So I lost the format for the time for some reason, but I know it ran 30 minutes. So when I first came up here and turned on the probes, and then I started the log, the return error in the hallway was 81.4, and it was blowing out about 59. So it was like a 22-degree split, and then the space came down over time. And then after about 30 minutes down about 79 degrees in the return and 56 degrees so units working great brought the house down as you can see here the uh, white line here where it peaked out and then it dropped it down to normal well when i get a chance and it starts operating for cooling i'll do a couple little tweaks with the program and update that might post something new here in the future. That don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. We'll catch you later.